They're staging my stuff. Wow, that sounds important. Guys, good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is B. This is Gig Money Madness. Glad to have you along with me today for another ride along. So, um, first thing off the bat, I want to start with we hit 2,000 subscribers. So, uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribed. It kind of all happened within about a week, week and a half. That last 50 that I needed. So that is just fantastic. I appreciate everybody watching, all my OGs, and all the new subscribers too. So I will be putting out a poll uh, sometime this week to just see what day kind of works best for everybody. And, you know, I'll just go with the one that with the day that most people say they can do it um, and I'm looking at probably doing it around 8 o'clock or at 8 o'clock on whatever day uh, everybody decides is the best so so that should be coming up within the next um, I'll only put the poll out for maybe two or three days and then you know within that next week I'll um, do my live for everybody so you know I I'm my channel is growing it's growing slowly I don't expect it to grow quickly like a lot of other uh, gig tubers just because I don't have time to put you know videos out more than once a week um, it's very time-consuming and I'm exhausted from working, you know, almost between 55 and 60 hours a week already. So to add another, you know, 10 to 20 hours, usually closer to 20, of editing a video, because my videos are long, they're not short. And so it's just very time consuming to do, you know, all the editing on them. And I don't mind doing it, it's just hard to do it more than just once a week. Um, I don't want to be doing it in all of my spare time throughout the week by putting two or three videos out. So uh, I need my sanity guys, that's all I can say. So with that the live is going to be coming up soon and I hope as many of you can join me as possible. I will answer questions about myself, about my strategies, um, just anything gig related. I'll try to keep it to maybe a half an hour to an hour at the most. Anyway, look forward to that guys. I'm looking forward to doing it. I am a little nervous about it, especially the technical side, more so than just the talking, discussing. Um, so I may do a dry run and just a test this week uh, for you know a few minutes just to see um, that I know what I'm doing by the time the day comes for the actual live so all right I actually am on my way to Walmart to pick up my first delivery for the day and that order is for $15.75 going six miles it's two orders uh, looks like there's 12 items on one order and 15 items on the other so shouldn't be too bad on the map it looked like they were really close or pretty close to each other uh, maybe within five minutes of each other so uh, should be pretty quick drop-offs once I get them on board All right, guys, um, my next order, I took it on Spark. It's one of the in-store pickups, and um, I haven't turned DoorDash or any of the food delivery apps on yet, but I thought this was a pretty good order uh, for $51.47, and it's going 36.1 miles, so it'll give a good jump start to my day. I should be done by the time the lunch rush starts, and I just thought that was kind of perfect timing. Uh, 
and then I know I get my fit or my $25 per hour regardless of how good um, the food delivery is doing so um, why not right Walmart um, it says the order's ready uh, I, I've been sitting here maybe a couple of minutes hopefully they bring it out for a while they were having us come in and get them I think that was like over the Christmas holidays the last two times I've been here they brought it out to me so I don't know if they've changed it or not we shall see good morning, good morning. we're still staging your stuff so we'll be right back out a little bit okay, okay. Right. appreciate it thank you They're staging my stuff. Wow, that sounds important. <laughs> Never heard it referred to as that. Getting it together, gathering, collecting, staging, okay. Oh, the Walmart lingo. All right, so I bet I was sitting there at least 15 minutes before they brought out my stuff. Took about six minutes to get it scanned and loaded. Um, somebody did come out earlier though and let me know that they were getting it together but my question was kind of like uh, it already shows ready on the app so why is it not ready so just a question I don't know how that works but usually they don't hit that until it's ready just from past experience anyway but I have it all on board uh, it was it's a uh, 6 right now so I'm thinking it's going to take me a couple of hours, which would put me uh, around uh, 12 o'clock to be done with it. So, you know, I'll be about in the middle of the lunch rush, so I still should be okay. So I won't record all of this. I will just see you guys on the other side. Then it was 12.02 uh, when I dropped the last one off. So uh, not quite two hours from the time I picked it up. So total, it took me about two hours and 20 minutes, something like that. So it was a little, I mean, drive-wise, it's what I thought it was, but it took me longer at the pickup than expected. Anyway, I am headed towards uh, the zone I wanna work in right now, and I'm probably about 10 minutes away. So once I get back there and get all the apps turned on and get my first order, I will let you know. I, um, looks like the pay did increase a little bit on that Spark order because of the wait time I had there at Walmart. So, sorry, it's a little cockeyed. All right, um, so it increased from like 51 and some change to 54 and some change. So, you know, every little bit helps. So I am back in the area that I want to drive in. I already got notified this morning that I got Top Dasher for the month of July. Um, and the funny thing is, is I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do it. I'm just kind of aggravated with DoorDash at the moment. Um, and you guys gotta understand, don't get me wrong, I love what I do, but it is just frustrating at times and there's but there's no w-2 job that i could do that wouldn't be frustrating so it just comes with the territory you get frustrated with your job or your work a lot of you guys don't call this a job i call it a job because i get paid for it so to me that's a job i'm back in my area i'm going to turn on doordash and the food apps and uh, see what i can get Turn it on Uber Eats, back to multi-apping. I don't multi-app when I'm, well, normally I don't multi-app um, when I'm trying to increase my uh, acceptance rate, except for if I'm not getting any orders from DoorDash. So I still gotta make my money, right? Um, all right, so Uber Eats is on. So it was a little pink in my area when I turned it on. So currently I'm at 81% on my acceptance rate and my completion rate is 95%.
So um, off to a good start for the month. I will not keep that at 81%. I can already tell you that. And I honestly don't care how low it gets. I'm taking the orders that I want to take. And I'm going to take advantage of that until that new program uh, hits my area. I've got one coming in on DoorDash. I'll take that. 1175 plus going 4.4 miles and it's picking up at Rice House. I'm like three minutes from the Rice House, so let's go get it on board. guys I dropped that off and it went up to $13 I wasn't able to get a screenshot though because uh, DoorDash sent me another order right after that and I accepted it all right so the next order is picking up from Chipotle and it was for $9.75 and there's a plus sign behind it so it's gonna be a little more uh, looks like it's only 3.9 miles so just the type of order I like to see so uh, let's see, I'm only five minutes from the pickup, so let's go grab that and we'll be on our way. All right, guys, I dropped that off. Uh, it went up from $9.75 to $12.50, so A-okay on that. Um, DoorDash then sent me an order for $5.50 going 3.3 miles, and I said no thank you and declined it. And then they sent me one right after that for $9.50, no plus sign, going 3.7 miles, and it's picking up from Tanner's Bar and Grill. You guys have probably noticed I'm wearing like a little microphone today. It's a roadie microphone. As I'm driving around and talking, it should pick up my voice better than the kind of car noise and the noises around me. So let me know what you think. If you think it's better, you know, let me know. If you think it's worse, let me know that too so I know whether to keep using it or not. So, all right, so I'm at Tanner's. Let's go in and grab that and I'll be on my way. Next one, DoorDash, $6.50 for 3.8 miles. That's like $1.71 a mile, and I'm picking up at Good Sense. So uh, let's go get that on board and get it delivered. Okay, guys, so the other day when I was out driving, I went to the same house as another driver at the same time. She got there just a little bit before I did. Um, so I kind of sat in the car for just a, a minute until she went up there and um, dropped her order off. And then as she started to walk away from the porch, I got out of the car and started to walk up there. We chatted just a little bit when we were on the sidewalk. And then um, when I got up to the door, I looked at where she placed the order. She had a Dunkin' Donuts order. And she had put it like right in front of the door that swings open. And I thought, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how many bad ratings she gets just for that one simple thing. So 
she was kind of backing out and while she was backing out I just kind of picked it up and moved it over the side and then put mine next to hers on the side there. I don't know if she was new. She kind of seemed like she was fairly new. Just remember drivers when you're out there and placing your order on the porch be sure to take notice of which way the door swings in or out you know or if you don't want to worry about that just always set it to the side that has the door handle just a friendly reminder you know it's it's not that hard to try and notice that when you're as you're walking up to the door so anyway I just thought it was interesting that she didn't even notice you know where she had said it so all right um, I'm waiting on my next order DoorDash is sending me some orders they did send me a diamond order it was for like four dollars and ninety three cents but it was going um, 1.7 miles if it's gonna be under five bucks I want it to be under a mile that's all I can say that's just my personal preference you guys can do whatever you want so but that's what I'm talking about there DoorDash's high pay orders are not my high pay orders that's why I get a little bit aggravated because I feel like it's a manipulation tactic that DoorDash has used. Oh, put a diamond next to it and they'll take it for sure, you know, kind of thing. So, like I said, you guys do what you want. I decided not to take it. So, I'll let you know when I get my next order. Next one, DoorDash, $6.50 for 3.8 miles. That's like $1.71 a mile. And I'm picking up at Good Sense. So, uh, let's go get that on board and get it delivered. order dropped off at Victoria's Secrets in the mall so um, I didn't hand it directly to the gal that ordered it but another cashier took it from me and put it in a room for her so that's what I let her know I already have my next order on DoorDash picking it from Mr. Beast Burger that one is for six dollars and fifty cents and it's going 2.7 miles so not a bad little order pretty dang good it's a diamond high pay order so I don't know how many days I'll get to see that because I'm not trying to keep my acceptance rate up for any particular reason so after I got back from vacation I decided I wasn't going to try to increase my acceptance rate until the last week of the month in time to do it to get top dasher well, I didn't have any trouble making money uh, by cherry picking last week uh, none whatsoever DoorDash gave me decent orders I didn't take them if they weren't decent orders and I still got catering orders so I was kind of like what's the purpose of trying to keep my acceptance rate up you know so um, yeah I did fine without keeping my acceptance rate up and so until that program comes 
That was close. Until that program comes, I'm just going to keep doing that. I don't have to keep my acceptance rate up to 50, 70 percent to know if I'm receiving a high pay order or not because it's just kind of like, oh, there it is. Here's your high pay order. Let me clarify that for you. So like I said, I don't need DoorDash to tell me that. I know what's a good order and what's not a good order. Um, so anyway, I'm here at on the border to pick up the Mr. Beast Burger uh, order I got. So uh, I'm going to run in there and grab that and then we'll be on our way. order did take me out of my zone so I'm not very far outside of it um, probably not even quarter of a mile so I'm just gonna go ahead and drive back up into my zone and see if I can get something it's about 2 30 right now kind of seems like things have slowed down a little bit um, see I'm already back in my zone <laughs> that's how far away I was from it so um, I'm probably not going to record all day. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one more order and then um, that'll be the last one that I'm taking you along with me. So and then I'll just finish out my day and then put the totals at the end as usual for the day and for my week. So you can see how I did. So as soon as I get an order, I will let you know. Sent me another order for $6.86, going three miles, and it's picking up from Chipotle. And then they, um, so that was a high pay order. And then um, they sent me an add-on for $5, going 3.3 miles, uh, picking up from Chipotle also. So since it was like already picking up from the same restaurant, I'll go ahead and take that and deliver it. So I'm um, only probably a mile away from the store, so let's go grab it. Let's go get this second order dropped off. I won't be posting the drop off, the handoff on that last one because I ended up handing off to a kid. So I'm not going to put that in my video. Um, when I was walking though to the apartment, I kept feeling my shoe catch on the carpet and I was like what the heck's going on I've been and actually I've been feeling it most of the day and I kept looking at my shoe and trying to figure out you know if something came loose or whatever and so this last time I knew something was loose because it caught fairly well and uh, looked at a different spot on my shoe and the uh, bottom of it's coming loose I guess my shoe had a blowout so uh, I guess I'll be investing in some new tennis shoes here pretty quick for today and in the video here I appreciate you guys watching as always and uh, watch for the poll to um, see what day we want to set the live video up for I'm looking forward to that so hopefully you guys are too hope everybody can join um, and I'll be sure to get the uh, word out as to when that's going to be. Um, I'm thinking within the next week, week and a half, we can make it happen. So, all right, I'll leave you with that, guys. 
If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so by hitting that subscribe button down below. So appreciate all you guys helping me get to the 2K subscribers. Couldn't have done it without you. So you guys stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. All right guys, this is the trailer. I um, continued taking orders after I ended with you and I took an order on DoorDash. It was a catering order, picking up from Chipotle, going less than a mile. And I didn't get a screenshot of it because I wasn't recording stuff. Um, but it ended up being $146.19. Is that crazy or what? So I ended my day right there because that put me way over for the week. So I just, I'm just flabbergasted. I don't even, that's my biggest ever payout in my entire delivery career. That includes pizza and gig delivery. So that was just crazy. And I was delivering to the B&B theaters off of uh, Midland. So it looked like they were doing some type of special musical thing. Like they had people dressed up in uh, tuxedos and they had, there were musical instruments, because I delivered it back to the uh, cast door, the members, cast members only door. So, yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just, I, I can't believe it. Anyway, wanted to end on that note instead of the note that I ended on before. See you guys in the next video.